This is Kyla Montgomery here with head women's soccer coach Sonia Carvello. Now, Sonia, with your one nothing shutout over USC this Saturday, you've extended your unbeaten streak to four. What's been the key to your 3-0-1 success over the past four games? I think the players have done really well defensively, not giving any opportunities for the other team, uh, you know, to be in the box. And I think, uh, you know, just being very disciplined and understanding their role, what they have to do when they don't have the ball, and then looking to capitalize on our opportunities. And I think we've done really well in the last four games to find ways to, uh, you know, to win games. I think, uh, you know, the players are understanding how important it is to, uh, you know, to keep the ball. And then when we don't have the ball, looking for ways to eliminate any opportunities for the opposing team. Saturday's game was the fifth time in six league games that you went into overtime. How do you keep the team focused and energized while playing all these extra time matches? Well, you know, when you're looking at overtime, that's a that's a big thing when it comes to concentration. And that's one of the things we really looked at, uh, you know, in training. It's something we talk about every day. And, you know, when we're giving instruction or when we're moving on to the next exercise, we want players to be checked in at all times. Uh, you know, it's one of the, the struggles for every coach to be able to get players to do as for a 90-minute game and uh, to do it for 110, obviously, is even more difficult. But, uh, you know, it's just those little things that change everything in the game, and I think the players have been doing really well in that area. You end the regular season on the road this week with Youngstown State and Oakland. What will be the keys to those games? You know, it's going to be critical that we get on the board first. You know, we have uh, Youngstown uh, coming up, and I think that's going to be the biggest game that we have on our schedule so far. So. Um, right now, one game at a time, and the players understand and are prepared for that game for tomorrow. We, uh, you know, looked at film and you know looked at ways that we can improve from USC's game and look to do the things that we need to do for Youngstown for it to be a successful match for us. Defensively, you've surrendered just 13 goals this year and have tied the school record with seven shutouts. How's the team been able to keep so many clean sheets this year? You know. Just like talking about before, just being really disciplined, paying attention to detail and, uh, you know, expecting more from each player. I think they are expecting more from themselves, too. And, you know, every opportunity that we get to defend, you know, especially in training, I think it comes down to everything. I know we have, you know, 20 matches a, a year, but uh, when you look at all the trainings that you have to do, those are the times that we, we get on them. And uh, they've been able to bring it out in matches. And I think that's that's been the biggest difference and players buying into, you know, everything that we're doing as a coaching staff and, uh, you know, just taking care of business in that end. Great. Thanks, Sonia, and good luck this week. Thank you.